Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. I'm super excited to be back with yet another video. Today I'm going to be talking to you about some of the regrets I have after studying in the UK and even while studying in the UK. Things that I wish I knew before studying in the UK. And today I'm just going to be very real with you. If you are yet to study in the UK, this is something you should know about. If you're in the UK and you're still studying, this is something you probably should also consider but most importantly i think it's not just about studying in the uk it's also studying abroad basically so um some of the things that i wish i knew before and during the time that i was studying in the uk so i'm just gonna break that down so make sure you chill and enjoy this video So the very first thing I'm just going to say is that first, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever I share a video. And check out this study hub, which is my, um, my, my new channel where I share a lot of my study abroad content. So let's move to the crux of this video. The very first thing I wish I knew um, during the time I was studying in the UK was that it was not all that. It was not all that. And let me explain. What I mean by it was not all that, that does not have to do with the quality of the education or the quality of living in the UK. is the fact that after the UK experience, you would expect that things would be easier. And I have hinted this in one or two videos. My friend and I will be doing a video and we'll be speaking about this. I'm just not really, I don't feel like I'm at that mental point or place mentally where I can really talk about it. But I will just really speak to it lightly now until we are able to have that video. So what I mean by that is that when you're studying in the UK, it's good for you and you're enjoying the experience, you're enjoying the academic experience and also the social and cultural experience. But one of the things that you are likely to miss out is that if you do not plan ahead before leaving the UK, um, and I'm saying this, I'm, I'm just using the UK because I was in the UK, but maybe you are in the US or in Canada or somewhere else, this would apply to you. So here goes. If you do not plan before coming back, especially when it has to do with career or it has to do with what you have to do, the next steps, it would, it would be very difficult for you because there's this assumption that while you study or you have a master's degree or while you study in the, or when you study abroad, you're likely to come back and yeah, there'll be a shiny golden job waiting for you or it would be easy. It'll be like a walk in the park for you to get a job. That has proven in my experience not be the case and for a lot of my friends also it is not the case there are times when you come and you don't have a choice you end up doing um, jobs that you ordinarily wouldn't have wished for or you get paid at and you get paid an amount that you know that you are far worth more than and this is one of the uh, the challenges that i particularly um, have faced coming back home um, after my uk experience and i think that it's one thing that you should consider if you're in the uk um, or you are wherever it is that you are studying you should consider that you have to plan ahead so the regret in this case was me not planning ahead and thinking that okay i'll come back home and and then i'll find a way to navigate that if i had known what i know now if i knew then what i know now i would have started planning ahead in order to be a step ahead you know so that i would sort myself out before even coming back home point number two i know you have prepared an application or you're preparing to apply or you've applied or whatever and you're in the uk or you're yet to go you and i will probably put in our personal statements that we understand the intensity of the uk educational system and how it can um, and how we, we can navigate it but the point is you are never too prepared right and unless you are you're very intentional about that the point is here okay so what i'm going to say is that it is very intensive like it's really 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 intensive this may depend on the university but i think that largely the uk educational system in itself is really really intensive you have a lot of readings to do at once and it's just a bit different and i understand that they are very supportive um um avenues the universities provide supportive structures to help you in the process but that notwithstanding it can be really intensive and i wish i had known how intensive it would be maybe it's also because of covid and and the whole mental thing that you go through um i went through with covid and i'm just going to naturally move into my third point which is mental health right so with the intensity of the program if you're not careful it would if you're not careful and you do not have a very good structure or you do not have a very good 
um, understanding of how to plan and how to schedule and how to use a list of services, you are likely to have a mental breakdown. My issue, especially my my experience, it was because of during COVID, right? And I was I was away from home. I was home from away from family. Um, almost all my flatmates had left, so I was practically in isolation alone. So it was a bit from i don't want to say traumatic because traumatic would make make it sound a bit extreme i want to believe i went through it uh, and i was fine but i really was not i think there were days when you would definitely wish you had that human experience or someone that you can share that journey with especially because you you weren't allowed to go out campuses were closed you can go to a library you can go to a lecture everything was done virtually so that's in itself so my next point would be the mental health issues you know university universities definitely have support for you if you have any issues going on with your mental health but the point is you definitely would have gone through it already before even asking for it unless of unless of course you're proactive you definitely would have gone through some kind of mental health crisis so for me that was it and again to the next point would be that um you don't anticipate how lonely you can be like i said it's probably because of covid because personally i'm very much used to living alone and being in my own space so i don't really get um worked up and i don't get myself in a find myself in a very uncomfortable situation when i'm in that situation or when i'm alone so i'm able to navigate that properly but then I feel like for a lot of people, you don't realize how you can, how much you can miss home, especially if it's with the little things like the weather, the food, just the language, you know, when you're at a place where you hear, which is why when people um, are outside your country, for instance, if you're in London and you hear people speaking to you, you feel a sense of, I don't know, it's just this thing that makes you excited about. Uh, or you, you, if you hear someone speaking, say, Ewe, or your local language, local language, I don't know where you're watching, maybe imagine if you're from maybe Kenya and you hear someone speaking Swahili in the heart of London. I feel like you feel you have this kind of connection, you know, and you would want to um, engage with them. So that's one key thing as well that I feel um, we, you probably could take for granted that, um, and, and I regret, I wish I really knew all of these things. I wish I really knew how to that these were things that i could potentially have to deal with my next point was also culture shock or my, my next point is culture shock right there's little things that you don't really see in our parts of the world that you end up seeing in the other part of the world even though i expected them there's certain things i never really thought hard about i mean something like smoking for instance um i don't have anything against smokers but for my personal health reasons um i try to stay away but then when you somewhere in the uk people are allowed to smoke especially if it's outdoors you know so for instance you can be going to the library and right in front of the library people are standing there smoking we want to finish smoking before they go into the library it was a bit of a culture shock for me and i wish i had known that there were things little things like this i would have to deal with them um and again i, I also wish i knew a bit more about um the the way people see each other to be different right i knew i mean right from being here i knew that we had a lot of um cultural differences we had tribalism and stuff in ghana but then again when you travel outside you have people saying things to you especially because you are black and just be mean sometimes you know i don't know if you've seen this video where i talk about my first experience or my first encounter with racism there are people some people whose um, racism is more subtle right they are racist to you but it's, it's more subtle and for some people they're explicit with it they really do not care they couldn't care less so that was also something that i wish i knew i kind of knew about racism i knew it was a thing but i i didn't think to prepare myself mentally for it that again is one of the things that i think that um was i wish i knew before i left so that's pretty much it guys um these are some of the things that i wish i knew uh, before studying in the uk or before studying abroad but definitely it was a worthwhile experience i really enjoyed the experience if you have not subscribed yet make sure you hit the bell to be notified whenever i post a new video and hit the button to subscribe in order to see my subsequent videos what is it that you want me to talk about um with regards to studying in the uk my next video would be about jobs for those of you who are international students in the uk and you want to find jobs 
that video would be for you make sure you hit the subscribe button in order not to miss out thank you for watching i wish you the very best moving forward i'll be sharing a lot of my content on scholarships and university applications on my new channel and that is z study hub so go check it out meanwhile on this channel i'll still be talking about my uk experience and a lot of ex exciting stuff that would definitely be of interest to you like my next video where i'll be talking about jobs that you can do when you're in the uk as an international student as an international as an international student thank you so much for watching i wish you the very best thank you for watching leave me a comment what was your experience and which of these um points are you surprised to hear let me know in the comment section below thank you so much for watching lots of love bye